my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. I'm John D. Contradiction, and we got my man Walco right there with the glasses. Introduce yourself, sir, for when people get their listen on. What's good, everyone? I'm Dylan Hall. I'm an artist from North Miami Beach. Dade County is what I'm repping. Hey, yeah. Florida, son. Hey, music, What's man? up? Yeah. Oh, shit. You're from my side, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? There you go. There you go. <laughs> shit, not from my way. So, hey, you guys can relate. Uh, y'all out here, y'all got punchlines like that in Florida? But anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they're hitting out here, but they're out here. <laughs> Facts. But, yo, what's I appreciate up? you coming to chop it up with us. It was, uh, we had, like... I, people reach out to us for scheduling and shit like that, and I got like multiple calendars, so I kind of fucked up. So it's on me. So I appreciate you being able to do it for today, even though when this drops, nobody's gonna know when the fuck it happens, but it's gonna drop. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know, it is what it is. But yeah, man, what's good, man? Let's 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 jump right into it, man. So I am actually, I have one one question. We don't write down questions, but it's a question that I just wanted to ask. We don't do like the regular okay. question shit. But uh, so your rap name's your real name? Yeah. Okay. All right, no, you know, just just wondering. I was real like, name, no gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, real name, no gimmicks, man. I'm not mad at that, you know, because I was like, it's kind of a catchy name, but it's like half and half. It's like it's catchy, but it sounds real. So I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it is. No, nah, I get you. <laughs> um, when it came to that, like that's literally what it was. Like I just wanted to give people like me, mm. um, in a sense, I didn't want to hide behind no type of name or anything like that, and definitely yeah. not gonna be a little something. Oh, so yeah. respect, respect. <laughs> um, like my full my full name is like really long. Um, like Same. like even my last name because like my dad and mom were married, so like it's like Somerville Hall. Mm. So I just took out the Somerville and just made it Hall. Okay, Somerville is even Here. cold. <laughs> it sounds like a J. I mean, Cole kinda, That's what I was gonna say. Like that, that could be a label. What that's the, a label name. That's the album going to be the debut album that oh, I'm yeah. working. That's cold. That's catchy Boom. already. That's Boom. Boom. <laughs> So I wanted to ask too. So um, before we dive completely into Game Boy, um, so when I did the review, I was uh, I looked at the cover and I was like, all right, I see one person. So I'm assuming there's two people on the cover. So I'm assuming the other person is a producer, or is that like a persona, or is that like part of the? Um. So the second person is the engineer mm-hmm. I've worked with since like I started music. His okay. name is Craig Anderson. Um. I've only been going to like one studio and like ever since um we just like clicked and i've only gone to him to like um really like mix my stuff that's dope that's actually good good relationship wise and that's actually dope man showing love to the engineer on the cover he produced too or he just engineered it no he just he just engineers um you showing love like that my producers are in there like um in some of the like all the fighter slots are the features Mm -hmm. the producers and then one is my girlfriend and then the other um is basically like sometimes he'll do like um like my videography not for like actual music videos but like whenever i need a snippet or okay. he's also done some cover art as well okay okay hey, you got your nice little team man that's how that's how you get things going so yeah, that's solid too if you're working with people too like consistently and like they're your go-to people like that's a dope move too because like then you don't have that weird shade of like if things start to work out and shit like that and people get weird yeah you get that organic creativity yeah yeah and you don't and you also don't have to deal with people trying to like scam you if they're part of your home base like that's one thing that i'm glad that i have i have my group of you know i got my engineers and i got people that i rock with so i don't have anybody trying to scumbag me too much even though i'm pretty sure my engineer is gonna listen to this and be like yo how come i can't put my face on <laughs> yo, how come i'm not on your album cover bro <laughs> no nah, um, i get you like those, like my producers and everyone that's a part of my team like i've known them for years like we all went to high school and stuff like that so like it was before i even wanted to rap or they even wanted to make mm-hmm. beats and then we just like, I, I used to do poetry in high school, and, like, I've competed, and then, like, a friend of mine was like, yo, like, put that behind some beats, you'll make yeah. something. Oh, that's usually that's how, it how it always started. starts. Yeah, it's usually how it always starts. There's somebody who's like, yo, this would sound dope over, you know, they hype you up, and you're like, you know what, let me try it. You start to learn it, you're like, yo, I kind of like this, too. And then you get yo, lost in it. I kind of fucked this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get lost in it, man. That's, I, I get that 100%. So, um, so uh, I'm assuming you started rapping, rapping in high school, then. Yeah, like I like I said, I did did poetry. I competed. Um, after a while, like probably like my senior year, um, a lot of people were saying, "Yo, put put a beat out." And I put like a mixtape. You won't find it anywhere because I think it's like so garbage. Um, but like I did, it, I did, shit. I literally did it with like Apple headphones and like Audacity. Oh and, man! And like literally, that it shit was, was just crispy. like. <laughs> 
<laughs> but people people liked it and like yeah. that showed that like people like would actually listen to what the fuck i'm saying so i was yeah, just like yeah. all right let me let me see how it goes yeah let's this. give them something clean now like they like, yeah. if you were here <laughs> for me during my bootleg <laughs> you know what i'm saying then you, <laughs> hopefully you're gonna be here for me outside of that too no that's dope man that's actually super creative too man i, I respect that man i'm very i'm very much so a product of diy and like doing everything yourself so i've i've got some terrible mixes and stuff out there even in my like hardcore band days and i'm just like all right we're just gonna forget about that <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna let that be what it is and we're gonna we're gonna move forward but um it's humbling listening back to it though have you listened yes. <laughs> you know there's some times you're like oh you know like i was i was really getting after it even though i had no idea what i was doing but it's, it's good to see hey, that part. i had some spunk yeah <laughs> dude i get like Garbo. that I had like a <laughs> yeah, dude. It's bad. Like, oh man, I don't even like to think about my first rapping days. But I do have some moments where I'll listen to some of my not not too long ago, but like kind of like maybe last five years worth of raps. And I'm like, shit, I was way better back then. <laughs> I was like, I was hungrier <laughs> then. I was writing some my best shit, and I'm just like, I'm stuck in a bag right now. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Like I'm all mellowed out and yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm all, I'm calm and shit. I'm a dad. I'm gonna now. go Fuck, light some more man. incense. I'm, shit. I'm like this fucking burn the system down, Johnny. That used to rap <laughs> back in the day. What happened? He's not even pissed no more. But um, no, that's dope though. That's it's good to have that like ground, like, that ground base type thing. So, you mentioned your album. Is that like something that's in the works, or is that like a plan? Plan? You haven't even started started that yet. No, I've started um like with like beat selection and how I want to go about it cuz honestly like people know I could rap. Like yeah. that's that's a given. Like I I've, I've like put out energy. singles, I've put out EPs already. So like yeah. the album is definitely something where I want to show a different side of myself to mm-hmm. where like cuz honestly like with you you've heard what I what I made and honestly like Ain't, I'm gonna be real. Ain't no like girl gonna be like, man, this is my song and stuff. But <laughs> secondly, yeah. secondly, oh, like I it, see. it is. Yeah. So like, I kind of want to go into a different aspect because I am able to go into that side to where like literally girls will be on an IG story just like lip syncing the song and stuff. Like I want to provide a different vibe or a mm-hmm. type of ear candy, like a breath of fresh air yeah. into what I've already put out in a sense. Okay, yeah, you want to mix it up. You want to dive into different bags. It's like one, it's a challenge to yourself, but two, it's like when it actually does work out, like it only benefits you, you know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. actually dope. And it's and you can't really, you can't go wrong getting the ladies involved. <laughs> yeah. You can't go wrong. No, like, hey, they support I'm, I'm like, The fellas gonna feel hey, it too. But yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. Hey, I, that, that, that the, mustache no, says there might be some saxophone music, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Hey, man. Hey, but the ladies will the ladies will show love and the dudes will respect it, too. Sometimes. Not like the, you know, there's like the super, super duper. Like, because yeah, you yeah, punch. Yeah, some people weird. You, know, you yeah. punch in your tracks. So I already know there's going to be a whole brand of listeners that are like, nah, I need that punch. Line. You know what I'm saying? That's how they <laughs> Yeah. Are. But you can't, you know, you can't please everybody. As long as you're doing shit that you want to do, man, that's all that, re- that's what matters first. You know what I'm saying? And then if you want to play the game, you can dip in and out of like, all right, this is going to be something I want to throw for the mainstream, this, that, and the fifth. But, yeah. um, so as far as this new project though, is this, uh, are we, are we not going to be on SoundCloud? What are we doing? Oh, what are we definitely doing? not. All right. So, <laughs> all right. We got to get so, them all streaming. Yeah. Like even besides the debut album, like I'm working on a continuation to Game Boy. Okay. Um, and it's called DLC. So the same way, like when you buy a video game, they always bring, get you more, spend your money, oh, yeah. 40 it's bucks, expansion pack. Um, so with that, that's going to be all, all platforms. Um, and it's going to be um, a little bit shorter than Game Boy, but mm-hmm. it's definitely going to bring um, different. And it's not like throwaways of Game Boy. These are five brand new songs I've yeah, yeah. been working on since the lockdown and all that. So it's like, and especially since Game Boy has actually elevated my writing um i'm very excited for what it's gonna bring as yeah, well yeah yeah okay okay so you're already you're past now, I'm not saying like you're past this but you're like your next level already you're already like all right game boy was this now i'm already on to this yeah you know what I'm yeah all right that's good energy to keep up especially during this fucking you know this whole pandemic yeah, we bullshit. we got time yeah yeah everybody has time you know <laughs> even though now shit's starting to open up again that you had a solid two three months to to really zone in on something so it's like there's no there's no excuse at this point but um, that's fucking dope, man. So, this was this uh your first pro- this wasn't your first release release though. You said you've put out singles and yeah. shit beforehand. Yeah, so I put out I believe 
three or four singles like back in 2018 Mm -hmm. um and then i put my first ep out um which was like adventures of pickle dill which are like rick and morty was like the biggest show um back then so and then people like that grew up with me and even like my mom like my nickname was like dill pickle and shit like that (laughs) so it was kind of like a homage like an introduction like oh Mm -hmm. like this is me and stuff and in there um that's where you got to see like how i can kind of hop into different bags because like there's like a dance hall track in there and all types Mm -hmm. of things and people was fucking with it like but the thing is is that that what i tell people a lot between game boy and pickle dill is that for pickle dill was just one song like everyone was saying tonight 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 like that's the song Mm -hmm. for game boy everyone has a different opinion and that's where i felt like i was going somewhere with this Okay, yeah, yeah, you felt like you started to really start to hit different things rather than have, like, you know, just that one song on a full body of work. Okay. Exactly. Okay, Massive hey, man, I'm not deal. mad at that. I am not mad at that at all, man. I'm not mad at that at all. Because, like, I remember I really rocked with this project because I was just, like, I'm I am all for penmanship for sure. But I do do really like when someone can mix that up with, like, song structure and just have, like, a sound that sounds like they they pay attention like they study what's like the mainstream also you know what i'm saying like you study what's appealing type of thing and a lot of people don't like to admit that a lot of people don't like to say that they listen to certain stuff and i don't see it as like listening to other stuff i see it as like you're studying the game and if you can weave in and out of that while keeping your pen sharp by punching the way you do and also just being aware you know what i'm saying being aware of what's actually going like dope or what people are attracting to it's 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 a talent in itself you know what I'm saying? Like people sleep on that. And that, that's why a lot of people can fall stale or a lot of people put out like shit that you see us cook people all the time. Like there's some shit that's boring. That ass. Know? Yeah. You know, there's some <laughs> shit that we're just like, yo, this is fucking boring. And like at this point, we've been around long enough where we're not old heads, old heads. We're old heads, but we're not old. Head. We listen to new age shit, too. So it's like, yeah, it's just like, yo, it's at a point where it's like, yo, we we just need to be impressed at this point. Like we just want to hear yeah. people like show us some fucking heart. Show us that you're mm-hmm. trying to be a part of this game for the long run, not just to like have one song go pop and you want to get you a fucking deal at Levi's, you know, rocking jeans and shit. Like it's just corny, bro. <laughs> I fuck yeah, with just, that though. Like, yeah, do whatever you, do whatever you're going to do, but do it good. Yeah, put That's some fucking shit, put like, some of your love into it. Throw, you know, yeah. take a risk, put some of your fucking soul yeah, into it. Yeah, don't half-ass some shit because you think it's gonna get you some traction. Yeah, that's the that's worst cool. shit for that. And that's the that shit, shit that we killed. We had um, we put out a project. I mean, well, when people listen to it, they'll figure it out. But we we dropped the review today, and like, I ripped it apart. But I was like, yo, the dude knows how to structure a song. But that's all he's giving me because everything he gave me was like cookie cutter, and he was mad butter. And I'm just like, bro, like, I was like, I listened to it, bro. Like, I literally broke your project down front to back like piece by piece but also via jokes because you gave me nothing bro like there's nothing i don't know who you are when i listen to this i could compare you to every other you know new age rapper that has no identity so it's like bro this clone rap shit like you know it's just corny like how are you gonna stand out in front of some a and r's and shit like that if you can't even have your own identity on a track you know down preach, bro. <laughs> yeah. playing the organ you preaching out here yeah bro. you know what i'm saying and that's what I, that's and that's like one of our main things that we try to you know like saying? yeah we try to like get people to realize that like you don't have to completely sell out like you could sell out a little bit if you want your shit to only sound like shit on us on the radio but you could throw your mix in there throw your sauce in there bro like you lived your life too bro like you got stories that motherfuckers don't have but it is what it is you know what i'm saying that's the music game but um so <laughs> that's the music game yeah that's that's i've been in i've been in music oh my johnny long. he's prone to rants i've been in music <laughs> too long bro i'm over it <laughs> I'm just start shouting it. and shit it's crazy <laughs> that's why people call us old heads bro yeah in fact you see how calm i am how angry he is it's just <laughs> <laughs> i've been in, i dude i fucked around with music for way too long bro it pisses me off <laughs> I'm one of those yeah. people, bro, like, I'll go to a show and, like, one little problem and I'm fucking judging the right. Like, I'm judging every single terrible. thing going on. Like, this lighting is terrible. <laughs> Whose sound man is this? He's holding his microphone wrong. Like, I'm just pissed. Like, But I'm like that, too. Like, honestly, <laughs> when I when I see people, like, when I go to shows and I perform, when I see them hold the mic the wrong way, I'm like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, like yo, you want time. it to sound good. <laughs> Yeah, you you like, bro, don't sacrifice your sound to look cool, bro. Like, we're here to hear some good shit. <laughs> we pay, you get, you know, you get paid for this, hopefully. Like, I'm not wasting my money on something that sounds like garbage, man. 
<laughs> and I take that, you know, that's fucking, you're not getting my streams too. Well, unless, you know, they put in for a review and we have no choice, but. <laughs> Maybe. I'm waiting for us to catch a review that's so bad one day, bro, that you just pitch your fucking microphone, microphone through that window one day. <laughs> I just fucking <laughs> the review is just gonna be fucking stamps on top of stamps. <laughs> so I wanted to ask too, just uh, just to ask, because I I feel like I don't ask this enough. But how'd you find the page? Um, literally, you um reviewed like the person that's in Jimmy Hopkins on Ordinary is mm. he he um features on Sheridan Carter's project oh. that you guys reviewed. Mm. And that that's how I got you because oh, I know okay. everyone is sent me it, and I was like, oh, okay, bet. Hey, all right, all right. Oh, I rock wish that Sheridan project, man. That project was fun. It he was. was singing his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, go ahead, bro. I did not expect that. You see the cover, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna get out of this. And he was singing his ass off. He had some bops, like a lot of pop type influence stuff, but he did it the right way, and it was it was it was a good time. Okay, that's dope, man. This unordinary. That's a weird name, but hey. I'm not even mad at it, man. <laughs> hey, he, hey, I, I agree, but like, that's my dog. Like, whatever hey, he wants hey. to name himself, as long as he's putting out good music, <laughs> man, that's that's what matters. Hey, it is what it For is. Real. He needs to submit he, something now, <laughs> but uh, no, I don't yeah. think he he only has one EP, and he made it a long time ago. Oh, so but yeah, he's gotta he, be ready. I, at the same time, like, yeah, especially since, like, what y'all do, because trust me, like, I was even telling, <laughs> like, when I send it to the producers, cause I send it to everybody, because, like, I, I love what y'all do. Like, I literally, like, like read all the reviews and stuff, and I told them, like, I was like, man, they went in on, on Wilson Fist, <laughs> but, hey, they liked the project. Out of, every, of, out of a lot of shit I've seen, I'm glad that they just liked it. They gave me that green check, because they roast people, and they didn't believe me. I was sending them some of the bad reviews. I'm like, bro, they be telling them to never pick up a mic type shit. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this project, too, like, we usually, when it's like a SoundCloud project, we kind of go into it with a different energy, because we've done so many SoundCloud projects, and we also know that sometimes SoundCloud will dumb down the quality and mm -hmm. soundcloud is just a free-for-all you can put fucking anything on there you know what i'm saying it's a free-for-all and it's like we usually go into it like oh boy so when we hear something dope like hearing something like this i was like oh why, why is this here yeah I mean, first of all i'm like <laughs> why is this here but also i was just like you know what i'm glad you know what i'm saying like it, it removed that stigma for a second you know what i'm saying so i did rock with this though like you had some tracks but i like that like it was kind of like a dope mix between it had like you know the video game influence type stuff, but you had you know you had nerd bars, you had dope bar, you know you had all types of shit in there. And that's my type of shit. I'm like, yeah, this is this is somebody who had a good time making this. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. So this project, though, how long does this take to string together? This like probably like maybe six to eight months. Like no, hey, not even worked on Ivan Kevin, because like just to pick the right beats because i i sent my friends like a lot of samples because thing is between these seven tracks these are all games that like i played mm -hmm. um that are like truly like something that like are some of my all-time favorite games mm -hmm. so like i would send them and i sent them like a bunch of samples and they worked on it sometimes it just didn't come through so i'll be like nah that's not the beat but let's do another sample sometimes the producers would switch like i remember for stan lee a different producer had it first and then he couldn't think of anything that was like around what i wanted so then he gave it to kamikaze then he made something that i liked stuff like that so mm -hmm. it, it took a while for the beats and then just writing because like i i rewrite a lot like even to the last minute to when i'm about <laughs> to take it to the stoop like i'm like nah this line ain't it like let me let me figure it out it means you're your toughest critic though ain't no wrong with that that just means you check in yourself man some people don't it's even know that it's quality control. Yeah. Some people don't do that. They just got that one friend that likes anything that they do. Yeah, it's fire. It's fire. And it should be whack. Let's just walk in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Spit some shit and leave. That's it. Yeah, be like, yo, that take was dope. That nigga's on his phone like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fire. It's fire. It's fire. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, I've seen that. So speaking of these games, yo, it's the worst seeing that shit. I've actually been to a couple studio sessions and I've seen it and I'm like, I complained. I'm just like, what are y'all doing? I'm like, no, that wasn't fire. <laughs> like, that wasn't hot. <laughs> Change that. Get back in there. Yeah. Yo, dude, that's what you need, too. I actually, my um, my engineer, like, whenever I actually do, because I usually record at home. I got, like, my own little studio here. But um, it, when I do go out to record him, he whoop my ass. He be, 
it, like any little thing, he'd be like, "Oh, you breathe funny on that one. Ah, oh, I don't like the way I sound. Yeah. Like, why'd you say that word out your nose or some shit like that?" And I'm like, "God damn, he'd be <laughs> kicking my ass." But like, it makes me want to just like, like nail it. You know what I'm saying? So, and that that's the thing I feel like I even like you have to get comfortable with as well because I I feel like I'm not and I and we've seen it as well going to the studios like not a lot of engineers do that so when you get an engineer like that and let's say because everyone says that they're open to criticism but until they take a <laughs> until couple they get it. like yeah so <laughs> after hits. yeah after my engineer like started doing that like I I'm gonna admit like at first I was like nah I think it was straight like you know like I'll get, I'll get pissed but at the same it hurts time, a little. I'm, I'll be like, yo, like, all right, run it back, run it back, let's do it, and see, and, like, after a while, that's why, like, I stuck, I stuck with him, because he's not afraid to tell me, like, yeah. yo, like, that take wasn't it, let's yep. do this, try this, so, yeah, definitely. Because people forget, too, like, they're going to be the ones working on it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be the ones that add the touches, so they're going to, they know exactly what they work with, you know, what they work best with, so it's, like, and, and it's honestly, you got to be honest to yourself, because, like, back in the day before I was, like, you know, more, like, that comfortable in the studio, I would record a bunch of shit, be like, oh, that was solid, and then I'd listen to the roughs, like, god damn, like, oh, I got to get my ass back in the studio, like, I'd be pissed <laughs> off, I'm like, I just wasted my damn time, like, I yeah, what the fuck was yeah. I doing? Yeah, you just want to text them, like, my bad, bro, I just wasted all your damn time, I'm going to bring <laughs> you something to eat next time I come to the studio, bro, like. <laughs> <laughs> that shit because it, it sucks like that shit sucks that shit happens to me st- like here i'll record some shit here and i'll be like oh, i'm about to go to the store and i'll run it back in my car and i'm just like uh-uh, i'm about to turn back around <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not going to the store until this mix is clean you know what i'm saying no nah, but hey it's real shit but uh so you mentioned video games on this let's go through the games that's on here i know i already see uh, some but like i want to know which game specifically i see state of emergency on there which is a which is an underrated classic which people should know about especially now due to like you know the so they can learn what a fucking opportunist and a real looter (laughs) and a troublemaker is amongst like shit happening you know what i'm saying (laughs) because that game was a very great depiction of it the second one wasn't as good but I mean, the first one wasn't great, but it was still a good time. But yeah, you said so. Which games are in this that you could so, bring up that you mentioned? So, um, first one intro is from L.A. Noir. Um, right. It's from Rock, Rockstar Games. Yeah, I fire. think it's like one of the best works. Oh yeah, um, it had that face physics when motherfuckers' mouths look real and you have to see yeah, if they're lying it, or not. Fantastic. It, and that's the thing, like with with all these like things, I even like to get into the mind state, try to see like what type of bravado to bring. I literally played like these games again and to beat them to just try to see, like try to get into that headspace. Like, method oh. method rapping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah <well>, fact, <laughs> fact. Uh, method rapping. So Stan Lee um is from is from Spider Man Two. It's the theme mm. um from it, and then that was the first one uh, that had good swinging. J- jimmy hopkins is bully um another rock star games I, that's Classic. one of my favorite all time overdue for a part two or remaster but you know rock need, not need to need they need part to two <laughs> and need a remaster. i would play it like if they remastered the first one for current consoles i would play it because that like that bully was so, so good. hot though huh nah. all the he- that should be so hot all the headlines Oh yeah, Bully was so good. It just the little shit like the seasons, like when it was Halloween season and all that yes. shit. You could see all the and you throwing fucking pumpkins and fucking with people and like that was classic stealing bikes and shit. Fantastic. Okay, so we got there. All right, what else we got? And then um, back back in the mix is the only one that doesn't have a sample. Okay, but like when we when we were making it, um, we kind of had like a Metal Gear Solid type of like when I told him like yeah like I'm thinking like some like. Some shit like when you like ducking and you crawling and you and and like think of it like when they finally see you like when that exclamation <laughs> point and shit like that. So like that's what we kind of like went with and you could you could kind of hear like the inspiration and some mm. of the backgrounds. So like that's on that one. Um, State of Emergency, of course, Kingdom Hearts. Um, damn, I'm, I'm like forgetting my own track list. <laughs> um, Wilson Fist is. Kakuto Chojin. It's a very old school ass game. It's like in the 1980s, um, <laughs> and I've only played it once. And it was like to beat it again. And like that's that's really it. Like I didn't really like play it a lot. Um, and what else? Am I missing one of the tracks? <laughs> I, I think you got all I of them. Yeah, you went through it. all of them. And the la- I don't know if that interlude had anything. Oh, the it. last. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the Last of Us. Mm. So which, that's which from the two the is theme, right around like, the corner. The, yeah, two. I'm, I'm waiting on. Oh yeah, even if it, I, I've been, I've been. I, I usually I'm pretty big on like my uh, you know video game like 
little groups and discords and shit. And I've been mm-hmm. very, 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 very against them because of the leak. So I'm just afraid. <laughs> oh yeah, you I'm, don't I'm spoil that shit. Like I'm like, yeah, I need, I'm like, like when I heard hiding. the leak, I blocked the yep. Last of Us. Gotta, you gotta <laughs> unplug. Yeah, yeah, I like, uh, yeah, and I got my reserve ready, and I'm just like, all right, you know, I don't want to know. Like I've been st- any video, like even YouTube, like I don't like to. I'm not trying to fall asleep to video game stuff just in case Wake a video pop. Spoiler. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm putting cooking stuff on specifically before I pass out. Like, I don't even text nobody about Last no. of Us because that's the next thing that's going to pop up oh, on yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me see. Even now, I got to turn off my phone. <laughs> I got to turn off my phone. Yeah. What the fuck me up? You're going to put on, hey, you're going to put on cooking, cooking <laughs> shit and you're going to wake up to like cooking mechanics for Last oh, of yeah. Us. <laughs> I'll be like, no. Yeah, bro. And it's crazy too because like, I'm like this game already has been super hyped for me, but like the dudes who created it were, they were throwing like some dope names around. Like they they and you know you mentioned Metal Gear, they were throwing it like they wanted their stealth system to be as open and as like revolutionary as like Metal Gear Solid they was. Grabbing bags and shit. Yeah, like you know how Metal Gear you know had all these details that you didn't find out till years later, or just if you fucked around enough. Like they wanted it to yeah. have that much realism, and I'm like, bro, that's gonna be fucking. I cannot wait because the first one was a game changer. I finished it on when it first came out. I finished when the remaster came out, the DLC, and I'm just like, bro, they 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 got something with that, man. That's they know, they know what they're doing. How, so. how do y'all don't miss? They don't miss. Yo, <laughs> for a long time. For a long time, they've been doing work, man. For a long time, man. Naughty Dog knows exactly what they're doing. Only then they do Watch Dogs? Nah, that's Ubisoft. Nah, nah, Naughty that's Dog, that was Ubisoft. Did, uh, okay, Uncharted. my bad, my bad. Excuse me. <laughs> they, they did Uncharted. They do Uncharted. Because I was going to say, I was like, I was like, eh. Nah, nah. <laughs> what's crazy is they're the, they, they started with, Crash Bandicoot was their game. Yeah. And they went from like that to like Uncharted Still, and Last of Us. Uh, like, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, bro. Even the Uncharted right. games were fucking. Still holds up. Uncharted oh. fire, dude. That Crash Bandicoot. So I um, I, yeah. This is this is probably the first time I'm ever gonna say this. Welcome. I don't know if I could just say shit like this on the pie or not. But I've been modding. I've been modding switches, and you know, like I feel like Nintendo's gonna come for me now. But I've been modding. You <laughs> they know definitely have assassin lawyers. So they're gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I like. I've, I offended. I offended Nintendo. So I've been modding switches, and every time I mod someone's like, you know, they always give me like weird, weird requests for games and shit like that. So the last one I did was my uh, my engineers, and he was his uh, his wife was like, oh, I want the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, and I was like, you know what, I haven't played these in a minute, so I, you know, I downloaded the you know the trilogy or whatever, I put it on my switch. Man, that shit is hard as I was like, there's no way I I beat this when I was young. There's no fucking, <laughs> there's no way, Bro, there's no way. Your reflex, your reflexes were better. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, when Kingdom Hearts three was coming out, I I like bought all the like you know like the collection that oh they had God, before. The, the, the bro, I was playing the first 10. one and and the boss against Ansem, and I was like, bro, there's no way. Yeah, no, no ten year old is beating this. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, over here raging like, nah, nah, this bullshit, <laughs> this bullshit. <laughs> Yo, that shit is wild. Bro. Bro. I had um, but before three came out, I had uh, cause I still got my PS two and stuff like that. I was like, let me run through Kingdom Hearts two again. And I won was I was like, hey, this is just a lot tougher than I remember. But like I remember redoing the Sephiroth fight and I was like, bro, there's no <laughs> way I was not a kid with high blood pressure playing. Like this shit is still I was I, mad, how, bro. How? Mad. And I was like, you know, you would think like, oh, I did this already. This shouldn't be as bad, bro. Cause like most of the game, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of breezing through this. I was like, bro, this is not even nope. fair. <laughs> And then when I beat it, I was like, well, I'm retiring my PlayStation. Like, I'm never plugging this fucking PlayStation in ever again. <laughs> and then just for three to be, like, kind of an upset for me. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> like, I, I get it, like, why people say it was upset. But I thought it was, like, decent. Like, some people were like, bro, it is ass. Like, I it's only dog liked, shit. Like, I was like, come on. <laughs> I only liked, literally, there was, the only thing I liked about it was the Toy Story level was cool. The it was all right out. with the mechs and yeah, shit. Yeah, that was cool. The pirates level was cool. I didn't like nothing else. And then the whole end of the game was dope. Like from the the fucking entire ending, when you go to like the fucking graveyard of the Keyblades, till the end was mm-hmm. fantastic. <laughs> it was absolutely worth playing the whole game. But I felt oh, like yeah. everything else was just like boring and just goof. Like no pun intended, but it was a super goofy. <laughs> And like just a little too positive, and then hearing fucking my man from the sixth <laughs> my sense. friendship, 
Yeah, a dude, and I was scarred. So, um, what's his name? Haley Joe Osment. So, hearing him. Long story short, I every time I hear about him, I laugh. So, back in the day, I used to date this girl, the one that got away, love of my life. But anyways, so <laughs> I dated her, and you know, she went off to school. We broke up because she, you know, broke up because she went off to school, or whatever. And this nigga used to send her nudes. <laughs> But not when he, <laughs> but when he was like well into his like pudgy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like his, his you know what I'm saying? Oh. So the whole game that I'm just like, ah, I'm just like, oh my God, like this is not comfortable for me. Right <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah, hell? it was just weird. And, I, and he's trying to sound like a kid and shit like that. I'm like, oh man, this is weird, bro. <laughs> oh. It's a weird little story, but I figured I'd throw it out there, man. Not your man's exclusive. <laughs> the Scoosie. weird life of John D. But yeah, shit was fucking <laughs> that that third game, man, it super upset me. But then, you know, then I got saved by the Final Fantasy Seven remake, which was which I hold dearly. <laughs> which felt which was fantastic. Even though, you know, whatever happens. I'm not spoiling shit, but like, you know, shit happens at the end, but it it is what it is. I'll take it. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll take it. Gotta yeah. wait. Yeah, facts. That's another thing. Oh yeah, as you can see, I am a, a, a diehard gamer, so I'm all about this gaming shit. So I'm here. Nah, for I it. feel that. Yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> video games are fucking damn near raised me, so I'll take it. <laughs> but um, but yeah. Anyways, outside of that type of stuff, so I wanted to ask. So I see you out here. You getting your punchline on, and you got like this kind of dope style. So what do you what do you summon like your influence? Like who who do you bump like on the regular? You know what I'm saying? Who'd you grow up bumping? Regular. Damn. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of, like, when it comes to, like, when you have, like, the mix between, like, the nerd rap stuff and, like, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, the more, I guess I would like to say the modern backpacker type stuff because it's not really the conventional type hip hop type stuff. Yeah. There's, there's not too much in that lane. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to know, like, what's your, like, who do you rock with? You know what I'm saying? So, like, who, my inspirations are different from who I grew up listening to because, okay. like, um, like even though like my dad's not with me like when i was born and everything he definitely i do owe him that he gave me a wide variety you know he introduced me to like metallica and smashing pumpkins eminem snoop mm -hmm. dog jay-z stuff like that um but stuff that like wanted me to like just be how i am now that the stuff that you hear is definitely like i think the main influence would probably be childish gambino Yay. and especially like his younger self, like oh, you'll yeah. know, like that bad shit, days. like the cul-de-sac yeah. days, so exactly. rapping Gambino. Okay, that's and see, that's mainly what I was getting. I was like, I, I wanted to see if he would say. I was like, I wonder if he's a fan of Gambino because Gambino nah, kind of like made it. Fan. He made it very. He made it cool to do that again. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And he did it in a very non non corny way. You know what I'm saying? And like he did it in a very just dope, realistic, and kind of smooth way. Like he kind of made. You know, he made. He made it cool for us to be out here doing this rap shit. <laughs> yeah, like he did. Like that's why I always tell people. Like when people ask me that, I always say Gambino because, like, he like honestly not saying that other artists aren't, but like he just showed me that I could rap about whatever the fuck I want, and if they fuck with it, they gonna relate because we all grew up on the same shit. Like hearing hearing some of the shit that he said and like the relatability, and sometimes he'll reference anime, sometimes he'll reference like Space Jam and some bars that I could like remember off the top, and I'm like, man. Like, I love yeah, that shit. Yeah, he'll like, yeah he'll reference the wildest shit. Like he'll reference like bands that like I would only listen to like alone. You know what I'm saying? That I wouldn't let <laughs> nobody know is in my playlist. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, Gambino, listen to that. But he did it too in a fashion. I feel like for him, he did a lot of changing as far as in the game. Like because the way he would d deliver his shit was still very very urban. It was still very you know it still was very realistic. And he was very aware. Like he would say that shit he would always say like oh dudes call, called me corny all the time dudes did this and it wasn't like you know what i'm saying like it wasn't like uh like cuddy kind of had a hand in that type of stuff but cuddy's weirdo shit was like people were calling me weird because i was just like a quiet like you know i'm anti-social <laughs> type shit i bet he used to hum to himself a lot in school. oh yeah oh yeah cuddy was definitely <laughs> one of those kids just making beats like alone on the tables yeah. at lunch and shit and like everybody's like this dude's weird as hell but he makes some dope beats <laughs> but yeah like Gamb gambino kind of had like an appeal that like because honestly before just to my knowledge of hip-hop you know like before gambino really came out and like blew up after you know camp and even like you know the the fucking ep you know the legendary ep that he dropped before camp when you thought of like you know i'm gonna call it nerd rap not like being disrespectful or anything you know what i'm saying because no, like yeah. I, I rock with the nerd rap you know what i'm saying i, I am a nerd rapper but like 
it was more so when you thought of that, it was like the white rappers who would be like lyrical, miracle, spiritual, scientifical, mathematical. And it was just like, that was the nerd rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was like, oh man, I don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to listen to this. Like these dudes rap, they all got the Vinnie Paz rasp and they voice, but they rap in yeah. just big ass words. So it was just like, ah, I'm not here for that. So he brought it down to a very street level and brought it to like real nerd. Like, I, like nigga, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. I want to hear somebody rap about yeah. that. Like, and, you know, you could talk about Dragon Ball Z with the hoodest motherfuckers you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we exactly. all watched it. Yeah, so it's like, that's the type yeah, he, of shit that he He brought. tapped into something really relatable for everybody. For everyone. And he was, bro, And even, like, down to the small D, like, he was always talking about messing with Asians. We all loved Asian girls, <laughs> bro. Like, come on, bro. He could talk about shit like that, bro. And then he would, you know, he'd throw, a, like, a left hook and put us on to something. He like, oh, I'm out here drinking kombucha. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? this is what white people drink in the <laughs> cleanse their palates and shit you know he put me on to something but <laughs> that's dope nah, we yeah, don't, don't drink kombucha here <laughs> i do bro when i light incense my guy <laughs> fuck with me <laughs> nah like I, I remember having a conversation with one of my other friends solomon grundy and of course like if you know comics yeah. you know that name oh yeah and, and he he like very like he's deeply into comics and I collect comics as well and stuff and like someone told him like he's like bro you're you're nerdcore and I was like I feel like nerdcore nowadays or like even back from like 2012 since mm-hmm. Gambino since Denzel started and, and actually because Denzel even raps about anime yeah. all the time like yeah. every punchline and I'm like I, I feel like nerdcore is definitely not what it used to be. It's no. definitely not like yeah. no, nah, it's been like those people. It's been corrupted a little. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah. and I'm like and it, now it's, it's cool now it's an aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it yeah now it's like not as fun as it used to be. But like back when like you know like Charles Hamilton comes out and he's rapping shit about like Sonic and shit like that. You're like yeah. oh you know then it was like a treat. Now it's like cats can just Google some shit and be like oh what's trending on Twitter? Oh uh-huh. Hunter X Hunter's trending. So let me fucking throw a couple bars so at you. So you ask him some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like oh man you know like people that's and that's what sucks like that's like I blame the hipster era for that. Hipsters fucked up a lot of things for us because <laughs> hipsters not were just it. the epitome of like you did not grow up like this and you just learned this in like a week and you swear it's yours you know what i'm saying and like they're hipsters google, they're uh, google historians yeah they, and they were they were the ones that like started the google because they were before google they were like oh i'm the person with all the info but then like once they got access once google got big and you know started taking over the world hipsters became unstoppable because then they started yeah, then to they transform s- and they started to eat each other too because they could fact check. <laughs> oh yeah, but they're still <laughs> out here. They still think they're smarter than everyone except for other hipsters. Those are their only like challenges until Google I, breaks. I feel you on that, like, because like even so, like even with like Urban Outfitters and even with clothes, like sometimes like even at at my school, like I'll see them wear something or like a mm-hmm. DBZ shirt. Yeah. And, and you ask them like, oh, like what's your favorite? Yeah, what's your like favorite? Naruto. It's like uh, that's that's a whole different anime. Uh, like what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like, like that. Like. Hey, they both wore they both wear orange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew I knew like the the fucking I knew anime culture was was getting attacked as I like to call it was getting attacked when I saw um Michael B Jordan and uh I forgot which clothing brand. It it was Guess. It was Guess. Yeah, it was I guess, know what you're right? talking about. Oh man, and they came out with that whole Naruto brand shit. Oh my god! I, I ain't gonna like, lie. I was I was trying it's to count fire, the but it's like, the prices. Uh, yeah, but it but it felt dirty, bro. <laughs> so mainstream, yeah. ew. It felt dirty, bro. It's like they on, high bro. priced the shit out yeah. that they knew it. There was, it was like a thousand dollar jacket. I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah, and it was. <laughs> they knew like, that shit was finna catch fire. <laughs> and and it's just stuff like that. You're just like, it's like, oh man, like there's certain now that now this is just welcoming. Then you go to like fucking. One of my biggest complaints, so I'm a I am a frequent goer of like Comic Con. I go to Comic Cons, but I, I've been going for a long time. I go as a collector. I go to I go to get like rare compendiums of comics and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I still collect, I still mm-hmm. buy some stuff. And over my years I've just been seeing it infiltrated where it's like people don't even go to Comic Con for Comic Con anymore. They're like, Oh man, I'm gonna go cosplay and it's just like oh, I'm cosplay. offended. 
I'm like absolutely offended. Sometimes you'll see some cool cosplay from someone who actually yeah. is there to collect That's stuff and they'll shit. throw, yeah, they'll have a throwback or something like no one will do. But then like, I remember one year when Deadpool came out, there oh, was, there oh was 10 God. billion, de- like literally, and every, and but like what sucked was it was all the same Deadpool. Now, every one, every, for every 10 regular Deadpools, there was like a Spider-Man Deadpool or a funny Deadpool. But like it was crazy. It was literally every single person there. And I'm like, bro, and these cats, none of them have backpacks. So like they weren't there to pick up shit. No one was going into panels. And I'm just like, bro, they <laughs> infiltrated my fucking like I love Comic-Con. You know what I'm saying? And no, that, I guess yeah, and it just like starts to take it down. Then you're gonna have like instead of fucking oh, let me go meet Billy. Like I met Billy D. Williams. What's next? Like we're gonna have a fucking Instagram influencer chilling in a booth. I gotta pay a hundred dollars to meet like a, a fucking <laughs> TikTok dancer, bro. Like that's trash. Yeah, if you get to next, is gonna oh, be your you're lining up to meet cosplayers. <sighs> I would. I think I think they already started that, I and I mean, already, they have, like, they have popular for cos- pictures. Yeah, and they have stuff like popular that. cosplayers. Yep. yep, it's offensive. And then these like, cosplayers I- are like offend. Like, oh my god, people are taking pictures. Like, you know what you came here to do? <laughs> <laughs> Not like I, because I go to comic cons too. Like, especially like he'll he could probably relate. Like, um, there's a super con, like Florida mm-hmm. super con. It's over there on the beach, and I've I've been going there for like probably like three four years already, like in a row. And I always go there. Like yes, like last year I met Christopher Cybot. I got I got his autograph on like a Vegeta pop and stuff like that. Like, and I was planning on going to um, the Orlando um, one that they have because they they be having like crazy people. Like they're gonna have like the four Hobbits, like all types. Yeah, that one gets like, crazy. Yeah, Fine. like they they be having like real pretty real people there. So like, I was planning on going to that one, but of course with COVID and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruin it, but 2021, I'm out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother man. cop these posters behind me from there last year. Nice. Is that a doc, Doctor Who one? Yeah, that's Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see Superman. Like a, a Justice League. It's a Justice yeah. League teddy and bear. And that's painting. part of the fun of like when you go to Comic Cons <laughs> and shit like that. Like the one out here, the one in New York is dope, but it used to be dope. They'd have they have like this big section called Artist Artist Alley. And like all the like really discreet, specific comic book artists that people just don't know their names, like they would just run this whole section. And like it's like I'm I'm glad that they'll keep that going, but I feel like it's just gonna get smaller and smaller. And it's just like I don't know, man. I shit like that's that all gonna be online buying and shit. Yeah. I know it's gonna start fucking infiltrating. Like I went to um the first E three that uh you know they open to the public i've always been a fan of e3 so, since i can remember so jealous oh and it was wild that it ass. was fucking wild <laughs> was like, this is the best but then like the year after i went i saw them online and then i'm like uh-oh cosplayers are starting uh-uh. to fucking infiltrate you know like oh boy <laughs> oh there we boy. go you know it's like oh man monster hunter that means i can just be a half naked girl with a big bone tooth sword and I, i'll look cool and i'm just like oh man this is just they're just just ruining everything, bro. That's why I need to Check move to Japan, my, where that's not allowed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where I'm Japan is sure just authentic. They'll do some shit like that. Japan is just authentic. No one's being like in Japan. They're trying to out like out culture you. Like, oh, I know this comic because you've never heard of it. It's from the '60s. You know, like they're trying to fuck yeah. you up. There's no one. Yeah, it's but not they be a still have dollars. like they still have like those gangs of people that dress like a certain way. They're basically just organized cosplayers. <laughs> <laughs> like the dudes with the game. 50s hairstyles and like the, the schoolgirls with the makeup and shit. They cosplay every day in Japan. That's the that's the that's actual catch. That's the lifestyle. That's that energy though. <laughs> Yo, it's wild. My um, one of my best friends, he was stationed out there a couple of years. He's still out there. And when my he first got too. out there, his Snapchat was fucking wild, like random shit. Yo. And he's just like, "Oh, it's Pikachu Day," and it was niggas in like business suits with like <laughs> yep. a Pikachu tail, just hanging out of a business suit. I'm like, "Yo, Japan is fire, bro!" <laughs> like they're out there chilling. <laughs> Nah, definitely. That's definitely like the main place I want to go. Like, I was supposed to go I, this summer to the Olympics. I was supposed oh to go out there God. for the fucking Olympics, and COVID ruined my life. Hey, bro, take Talk me with COVID you. on that. <laughs> I was I, like, I, I, I didn't want anything more, bro. Like, Japan's my dream place. I know a lot about. I know more about Japan than I do out here, and I've lived out here my whole life. I, I, I love Japan. I want to go out there. I want to die out there. Like, I want to retire, have like a little ramen fucking cart, and roll it around. Like the Start most ignorant. Up with- <laughs> Yeah. facts but hey you know like they ruined me this year so i didn't get that taste but i'll be ready next year for sure for sure 
not even a game. For a second, I'm allowed to go out there. I'm going. <laughs> go on. Like I, I, cause like I've been to Paris, and mm. this is from someone. Like a lot of people will tell you, like, oh, this is good and that. Honestly, I think it's like overrated. Maybe <laughs> I went there for the wrong reasons, yeah. but like maybe because of all the movies and they and they say like, oh, the cuisine is just so splendid and this that and the fourth. I'm like, man, uh. the food gonna be crazy. <laughs> the food was ass. <laughs> I, I, ate. I don't want no snails. Get this shit out of my face. The snails was the best thing I had there. Oh, God. The escargot. No, best shit no. I had. France I, I, is just a bunch of dunce, dusty people that smell like cigarettes and have bad accents. And then they have fountains I, that pull out I wine. And some of the churches, and you know, they, hong, they hong. AC, no type of AC. I'm, and me and my mom was like, the what's fuck? that oh. And I was like, it ain't, it ain't the caskets. It ain't nothing. Oh. It ain't tools out here. I was like, bro, we put on shower. And like, bro, oh, like, no. like Dusty, the whole thing I, I got out of it was like, man, great architecture. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how you know a trip yeah. was whack. Yo, the architecture was popping, bro. <laughs> Yo, facts. You see them walls? Like, it's I saw, crazy. I saw everything in like the first, and we were, I maybe it's because also like most people when they go to Paris, they do that, that little bus thing where they stay there two days and they go to a different country. Yeah. No, I stayed there for like a whole week. Oof. Like a there. whole week. And like the the hotel was not what we were expecting. It was like it was like an office. Like it was it, you were in somebody's was, you were in somebody's office in their house. Yes, like it was not like a full room. Like we were over share one bed. Like we got it. We we're like, uh, and she was like, like I got through the door. She was like, Dylan, move. I was like, I can't. The bed's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I got nowhere to go. <laughs> they like, leave you like, like a complimentary like, piece of cheese on the bed and shit. <laughs> that ass. Fucking slice of cheese. <laughs> it was the most weirdest thing ever, but like it was cool. But like I, I guess I just stayed there too long, and like yeah, that's why I tell yeah. people, people, man, like how was it? I was like, the architecture. Yeah, honestly, great. like, like honestly, when I travel, I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to eat what people are eating. So if like if I if my eating experience isn't good, that's like seventy percent of my trip is ruined. <laughs> yeah, facts. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is something I'm hype about, like seeing all these yeah. like movies. Even even Disney with like Ratatouille. I'm like, man, I'm a, like, <laughs> I, I came money ready. I'm like, bro, I'm a splurge. We gonna go to a five star restaurant. Yeah, we about bro. to eat fancy, bro. Everybody I talks like, about bro, how French cuisine is the fanciest of them all and shit. Damn, so, bro, it was garbage. And then everyone, everyone that I know that did trips, um, when I got back, they were like, man, you should have went to Italy or like you should have went yeah. to Germany. And I was like, Germany's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, Why facts. Is that Facts, go out there, get you some fucking sausage, whatever the the, the fucking the shit that Yo, they Germany's eat. got great hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> Germany seems wild. I'm trying to go to Germany. Yeah. They got a good hip hop scene out in Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's dude, it. that's dude, <laughs> that's so fun. Well, you got to go to Japan next time, man. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> yeah, that, that's on the list. The first thing, dude. I see shit from Japan, and I'm just like shocked. I'm like, dudes having like full five course meals at Seven Eleven. Like they they got the gourmet <laughs> McDonald's out there. I'm like, this is crazy. This they got all crazy. those Kit Kat flavors. <laughs> Yo, my, so my Kit boss is all about that, and he's all about like the weirdest ones. And he's just like, he tries to like order them online. Like he tried to get like the wasabi ones and shit like that. He had one that was mad good. He had like uh, these, I think it was like hazelnut Kit Kats. They were fucking. Ooh, they were oh, that's fire, I bet that slaps. Yeah, slapped. I was like, bro, but <laughs> yeah, but that they're having fun out there. They're not. <laughs> it's not France, bro. They're just so stiff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so stiff can't be like cursing in public and shit that's fine oh, and, another, and another thing like my, my mom was like a big like like fashion person like mm. she she loves it and she she makes her own stuff and stuff like that and she she wants to work on a business as well like get it up there so that's another thing about france like they, they're like the fashion capital yeah, of the yeah. world and stuff like that so we go to this um champs Elysees, which is like basically this big like it's basically like a hundred stores and, and they hype it up as like this big thing. Bro, like when I mean it was just like a big ass like sawgrass, that's what it was. Like it was just like H and M and Zara. And like my mom was like hella disappointed. Hella disappointed. You were like, You wanna go to Sephora while we're here? <laughs> Dead ass. That's what it was. Like the Louis Vuitton store was cool, but like the the most that they really had was just a collection that came to the US like yeah. five months later. 
And it was yeah. just like uh, they had like the bags, like duffel bags, with, like Mona Lisa on it and Van Gogh. And I was like, oh, this is dope. But like, I was like, it's going to come to the US. The like, there was nothing exclusive. And I was, and she was like, disappointed. <laughs> That's like going so I was disappointed. Fucking, like... She was disappointed. It was bad. That's like, oh, I'm about to go to Colombia and then get Starbucks while you were out there. <laughs> I bet the lady, I bet the lady at the register at the Louis Vuitton place was just smoking a cigarette the whole time too. <laughs> On one of the like the Virginia Slim sticks that are like this long, so the cigarette was this far from her face. Ash, that shit in the <laughs> Dude, that's wild, bro. I would be so upset. I'm glad I've made some good good choices on my vacation. Some a little more dangerous than others, but good choices nonetheless. I think I think where I wanna I wanna go and get real weird as I want to go to Thailand and just start busting up some bugs. Like, fuck it, bro. I'm trying to eat <laughs> bugs with the people in Thailand, bro. Yo, I want to eat five-star bugs. <laughs> I'll be your cameraman, bro. Yeah, yo, facts. Business trip. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Honestly, yo, just on a, just on a notch of man's life, if we had a business trip somewhere and recorded it, it would be mayhem. But, like, let's leave it at that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because we're some unstable, we're some unstable adults. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're hey, I, I love to see it real talk. I gotta play it so. Yeah, but, yo, that, but I do want to do shit like that. Like, dude, a lot of fucking places have like dope, dope hip hop scenes, and it's like that's the shit that I want to see. Like, I want to see like some places that hold it down better than like the originators. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember you guys ever see that video? It was floating around. Um, you uh, not YouTube. It was like on Facebook for a bit, but it was like uh. A Japanese or like Chinese uh, dance hall scene, and it was like authentic. Like they paid homage to like dance hall. They were like, they pl- they played the part. They looked good. Like they was dancing. Like they were learning the dances and shit. I was like, this is crazy. Y'all ever seen that shit? Y'all gotta look that shit up. Nah. It's wild, bro. And it's super. But like my thing with like just like Japan and shit, like other places. Um, back in my like hardcore days, there was a DVD that every every hardcore kid lived by. It was the Guerrilla Warfare DVD, and they went to Japan with like some aggressive ass hardcore, and like these cats, it, they reacted better than like the than like in New York where like the shit originated. You know what I'm saying? Like these fans were like way more hardcore. Then they had a band that sounded just as good. Like. But they pay homage to it. They're like, yo, this is the culture we like. This is where we learned it from. They, they don't do it to, like, steal. They do it to, like, show love and keep it, like, you know, they put it on a pedestal, essentially, and keep it, like, they, you know, they protect it. And they're like that with everything. Apparently, look with, like, hip-hop and shit like that. But, like, I want to go to places like that in other areas that, you know what I'm saying, that keep the shit sacred and keep it real, you know? You know, are we going to take... Are we, yo, are we gonna do, yeah, we should just start doing like travel documentaries, not you man style, roasting people in person in different countries. Nah, just man, learn how just, to talk shit specifically yo, in their language just to just roast yeah. them. Yeah. So that way when they're like, they're, when, that way when they're like, no, you're just saying it because my accent's weird. I'm like, respond in their language. <laughs> no, your shit is garbage. <laughs> Yeah, imagine we go that yeah I, I would go those lengths just to fucking that be amazing. that's like in um you ever see other guys the movie with uh mark Wahlberg uh, and will ferrell uh, and, one of my favorite uh, classic, classic movies like did, top five oh amazing. easily and he did the ballet and he was like you learned all of that just to make fun of someone and he's like yo don't ask questions bro like this is how it was back in the day that's the type of energy so i'm funny. on <laughs> oh man. so funny Oh, it's funny stuff, man. But, um, dude, I don't even know what we were talking about and what brought us to that. But uh, that was a good tangent. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> this is how it goes on here, man. This is this is where our heads are completely at. But um, so, wait, where are you from? Out by wait, you're by Walker, right? You got you said you're in Florida. Nah, you said yeah. Miami, right? Yeah, Miami. Oh, he's in Miami. I'm I'm in a I'm like a Melbourne. Uh, okay. Melbourne. Oh, you're up. You're like I'm, yeah, you're northeast. Yeah. I'm from Osceola. Okay. <laughs> I'm from Central Florida, Pointiana, Campbell City area. Okay. So oh. he's, he's like a couple hours from me. Okay. Yeah. So what's what's your what's the music scene like by you? Music scene by me is like honestly like no no cap like I feel like we're one of the best underground scenes and that's oh, yeah, that's not even even with like just, the way you're rapping it's not because me I think of I think of Miami and I just think of oh this is. This is Mumble City. This is where all that when niggas just get shot, 
<laughs> and they mumble and that's it there is some of that <laughs> so that's what yeah, i think they, of the seed so you gotta put me don't on. get me wrong Every, everybody is a rapper here in a sense like trust me i was i was in an uber and i was going to the studio <laughs> and like he was like yo hey like because like they could see like it says asylum studios and they were like oh like you going to the stoop check, check me out oh, check me out boy. and like and i was just like just give me hell one star. Just one star quietly. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, I ain't gonna get him this shit. Nah, you gotta start charging for reviews on the spot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like that'll be a dollar for the review. I'm gonna just tell him like, yo, I'm I'm not the person. Go go to not your man real quick. Like <laughs> I'm know, not the person. For this. Oh man, that'd be bad for them. You would ruin their day. <laughs> but like the scene, the scene here, like honestly, like don't get me wrong, there's plenty of trash but like there's a lot of diamonds in the rough and like just by like ski um little punk like i like i'm not saying that he's good but i'm yeah. saying that like he shot up there like there's there's people out here that's like really doing it. i feel like we have the best underground scene not just by me there's people like chuck bass um just to name a few douglas numo solomon grundy um i'm just naming some and there's even like some singers here that that could even spit better than some of the rappers that i've met and that's real talk and like Fire. there's pose rettles phoenix and newman and he goes by blue now but like he i feel like i don't know like have you heard of like smino <laughs> smino's the truth i'm a like, big smino fan like i i think like blue and all honesty i think he's like a young smino like his, his he's able That's to fire, switch his cause, flow yeah, cause and stuff like very that. very very original like when i first heard him when i heard that the not the last one but the project the black project black swan i was like this is one mm-hmm. of the most original things i've i've heard in a minute and i bought oh, that yeah. for like a year straight i was like this is amazing this is like i've never heard anything like like this is new music to me you know what i'm saying like that shit was dope so like even with him and like swimmer and like when they watch this they're they're gonna know who they are but like (laughs) and that's just me like naming a few and like i really think like um there's more people there's probably like tt from various like i'm I'm naming all of them as i go 10 days asher stuff like that and each one um slim fresh i gotta those are my boys they they master (laughs) game boy they master game boy so i gotta throw them out there but like each one of them have like a different sound like even like i could send you like all their names or all their ids and you're gonna see different like it's no one sounds the same everyone brings that a new type of energy and like when we collide and um and make something together because like slim and fresh like i said i've known them and swimmer and blue um i'm in a separate band with them that we actually like we rap over like jazz and shit like that so like blue i need to hear that i knew it i knew it I so like blue, that. so like blues in intro. So like it that like that shit is like nothing to us. Like we, like when I was like, yo, I need you on a song. He's like, bro, what's up? Like yeah, let's do yeah, it. So like you, we perform with like an actual live instrumentation, and we go by foam. Oh, so. And a lot of people know us in, in Miami. Like we perform like all over Miami. We even been out there, um, near you. Like we we performed in Orlando as well with um so far sounds, um so like stuff like that. Like we definitely just like we try to do everything and try to collab with each other. And I feel like if once we get that spotlight and I feel like even if one of us makes it out and becomes like a new diamond in the rough for Miami as a new representation of the future, like I know we'll all just like, yeah, yeah, you'll do it together as a collective. You'll move on. Yeah. yeah. Build that ladder. Exactly. I wish, and, and I wish like, I'm from Long Island, and I wish Long Island was like that because we got a lot of different talent. We got some creative dudes, but if one of us makes it, they're shooting everyone down, and everybody's got to start back. From, <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's yeah, got to start back getting, from square one. You're getting kicked in the face for sure. Oh yeah, it's just it's very it's crazy. Like I got like my few people that I rock with on Long. I'm absolutely because of Nachi Man's. I'm probably one of Long Island's most hated artists, but it is what it is. I, I knew <laughs> I knew what I was doing when I started this, but um, you know, it's just like. But I still I stand by Long Island. Like Long Island's got some killers. We got some talent. We got some producers. We got a bunch of dope yeah. Artists. You just gotta move just, out, bro. I'm yeah, you. I know. I gotta move out to do something. But hey, come live in Florida for a few months. <laughs> you know? hey. I'll get shot. <laughs> I mean that might like, happen. Your man. Hey, listen. Pow. You just gotta then I'll careful. blow up. Like you, not your man. <laughs> like, like, oh, you the one that gave me that two out of ten. Yeah, it's like that's it. <laughs> two bullets, <laughs> two bullets out of ten round clip, man. It's a wrap. <laughs> no, man, I do need to get out of here. But like, that's also like, 
I, I, I stop my drive. Like my music drive is here. Like I enjoy doing it for fun, but I'm not like trying to like blow up or anything. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in long Island for a hot minute. So I'm just like, you know, it is what it is, but yeah, it's wild out here, man. There's some people out here that I would vouch for that. I would throw their, throw them in the mix against anyone and they probably hate me, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's crazy out here. Crazy. No, like, like, I feel like no state could be Atlanta. Like Atlanta is seen as true. Like they, they know how to bring them up and they bro. know like, all right, it's my time. Then everyone's going to focus on you. Yo, I promise. They, that's facts. Like young thug, little system. baby. Like, and that's they, been that's, since for long ever. Before. That's been since forever. Like every year of my life, the South has put out like five to 10 artists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if they're not good. If they're like working just a little harder, all of ATL's like, yo, we gotta make, we gotta bring them up, we gotta bring them up, and they, they, they exactly they move, they move and they make money. It's nowhere else you, is that united. And you realize that they all like fucking knew each other yeah. and like, oh like, yeah, they it, they're all like, you're connected. Like, Wait, they hung out like, yeah. You, like yeah, like back in the day, like before they were even famous. Yep. And I'm just like, that's crazy. Oh yeah, they all got like pictures when they're kids together and shit like that. Yeah. Like they're all, it's like some Marvel universe shit. Like they're all connected, bro. Like that shit is crazy. But I, you gotta respect that, bro, because like, hey, they people can hate on it or not, and be like, oh, people don't sell any lyrical, blah 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 blah. But like, they stick together, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hold it down. Like, if New York was like that, New York would make would like New York. Oh, everybody. Oh, New York got some spitters. New York got rappers. You got all this talent, all these originators and pioneers. If them dumbasses would have stuck together and actually worked together, New York would never have fallen off. <laughs> if, they too they know, too busy fighting for boroughs and shit. Yo, <laughs> yeah. It's say like, yeah, it's like bro, it's not the nineties, bro. Like no one cares what boroughs are. Y'all gentrified. Like no one cares, bro. Just fucking and these old and, that, cats, and that's bro. where my family's from. Like I have like my all my uncles are in New York and shit like that. My mom's from New York. So like shit like that. Like I understand and they it's they like that. That's, barrel, that's why like even now, like with like Wu Tang stuff, my mom still jams that shit. And, yeah. Like even how she talks and her bravado and stuff. And people that like when they meet me, they think I'm like from there. I'm like, no, nah, I'm from there. <laughs> 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 like yeah, your attitude or something. Man, like, you nah. got a Yankee <laughs> hat on, bro. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo, it's crazy. I this is the one thing I may be considered an old head as far as my tastes and like even sometimes the way I rap. But I will put this on every actual old head. They ruined hip hop for everyone because if these old motherfuckers that made hip hop perfect, that made it the golden era, that made it a genre to be accepted, would have fucking stuck together and started their own labels and made their own waves in the industry and not sold all their shit and just been like, nah, oh, I'm trying bro, to make money they and sold be cool. out for bitches and cars. No, but they're broke now. They did it wrong. They even didn't even know how to sell out right. If they would have fucking <laughs> held their shit together, kept their masters. And fucking actually uplifted the young hungry cats instead of rat beefing them immediately the second they, you know, come out. Uh, it would have been a whole hip hop would have been controlled by hip hoppers. It wouldn't be controlled by like old white dudes who are like, oh man, maybe the kids will like this, you know. And fucking, it's just the worst. But that's what I blame on old heads. That's why I tell old heads, I'm like, y'all not right, <laughs> y'all fucked up worse. <laughs> but yep. hey, this is what it is, like. Wu Tang runs the world. You telling me they couldn't start their own label back in the day? Niggas all over the True. world know Wu Tang. They could have easily started a label and ran hip hop, and it's cool. That is, and anyone, and they would have been one of the top ones. Like, yeah. who doesn't want to be signed under them? Yeah, the, seriously. Like, look, like you got Jay Z putting out people left and right, and all that stuff like that. Like, you got all like the smarter old heads doing it, but it's like they already, they're, it's not their world, and it's not their game anymore. They're just playing in oh, it now. They're done. Yeah, yeah, they're playing in it right now. They, but hey, they still try. They do more than fucking everyone else. Should have listened to Master P. Everybody's too busy shitting on the South, and Master P got the South on lock. <laughs> he got his own chips coming out here. Now he doing. He's doing ramen. I actually got to check if they still if they got some available because I got to support. <laughs> but they got their own the Master P to hip hop ramen. <laughs> What is it? The same people that made the rap snacks? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's their spinoff <laughs> brand. Is Master yeah. P got his own batch of different ramen, and it's like it looked good because <laughs> the rap snacks hey, was then, good. The rap hey, snacks. Hey, the Fetty Wap one slapped. Yo, the fucking um the the fucking uh the ones with the Migos on there. That shit was like it was like uh something ranch. It was like a sour cream and onion ranch, some shit like that. That shit slapped. <laughs> I was like, bro, this is good. 
but hey and, and down here like that those are like delicacies because like i don't they don't sell them here like they don't not sell them in my army like one Rastag. gas station where I live that <laughs> Is sells it in, see out here they're in the hood hoods like 7-elevens oh, yeah, this- that are in bad areas carry it but like in like fancy areas out here they don't have it yeah, this now this is a BP where like the shirts, the, their sign says no shirt, no service, but like people go in with no shirt oh, on anyway. Yeah, they only sell them in the, the hood. <laughs> saying, yeah, but you can order them online. I gotta do yeah. immediately after this. I'm gonna check online. I'm gonna get me a case of that ramen. I'm because <laughs> I because I was thinking about it when it, when he announced it. I was like, I gotta do, I gotta try it. I'm like, you know, I trust Master. P. Like, if anyone's gonna tell me a ramen is good, is someone from the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it is someone from the hood, so I'm I'm ready for it. But uh, oh shit! So <laughs> I just realized we we I think we hit the hour mark. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, this uh, is what I think. oh yeah, we got. But that's what happens when we just start talking about nothing. But um, yo man, we appreciate you chopping it up with us. This is where you could plug in where people can find you. You know the name of your last release, all that good stuff. You know the hip hop section. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. All right, so y'all go find me at Dylan underscore S underscore Hall. That's my IG. Um, Twitter, I'm gonna be honest, y'all don't want to follow me on there because I'll be tweeting some wild shit. Yeah, I don't even tweet music there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I even put in my bio, don't like, do not expect anything from me. This is just for laughs. So, do follow me on there if you find me, you find me. But IG is where I promote everything. Um, you can find me anywhere, just search up Dylan Hall. Um, there, I, there's one more Dylan Hall, but he nobody. I'm the most famous Dylan Hall. That's a fact. <laughs> fact. <laughs> Yo, you, you beat him on Google. You gotta keep that energy. What beat if him on Google? Did. What if he becomes an influencer, and, bro? <laughs> and, 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 then at first, at first he was over me. Like everything, like I was like, man, like I, I gotta, I gotta get, like get this out of here. And so I, I actually beat him in streams, and then that's it. I don't. Someone came through the door, so my dog was wilding. Um, but um, so when it comes to that. Um, and then there's Game Boy. Game Boy, I just released it. It's on SoundCloud, 7-Track EP. You guys must hear it. If you're a gamer, if you're a nerd, whatever, don't take it as a diss because we all, facts, like, facts. literally everyone plays games. Like, I don't yeah, care if you Kevin, if you don't. Um, and then you guys will love it. I guarantee they reviewed it. Check out their review as well. Um, I, I generally like what they said, and it made me better. And if you get reviewed, don't take it the wrong way <laughs> like you that's what you signed up for they even yep. let you know <laughs> no, no, yeah there's no, a warning no. there's a warning you, like you get a warning in the on the page in the email there's a warning and people just forget. Right. <laughs> like shit you need someone to tell you whether you're good or not like yeah. of course th- th- you're always gonna have yes men so if you go to them like definitely and i'm glad that i don't have yes men but i'm also glad that i have them i'm glad that they liked it too check out their review and yeah check it out for yourself Yes, sir. All right, man. Yo, again, we truly appreciate it. This one here, um, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, I'm gonna throw this one. I'm gonna put this one out. So until then, if you have like uh, like video clips, like 60 second clips that we could post on our page for promo, send me like five or six of those, and anything you okay. think will get people to go to your page, like snippets of music, whatever, send it my way, and then I'll get it queued up. And then when we drop this, I'll drop those and like whatever for good, just some promo, get some people that look at our page to look at yours. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I'll send you uh, some of the teasers I posted. There like all the teasers. Yeah, yeah. That send, me, send, I got you. send me whatever you got, man. All right, man. But, yo, again, man, thanks again for chopping it up with us, man. No problem. Thank you for Appreciate having me. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Have a good one, man. You too. Peace.